Well, good morning, friends and family. We want to welcome you to the JNL Ministries YouTube channel, Jim's in Town Gardening and Bella's Legacy Rabbitry, and also the Godfest channel. We want to welcome you on January 14th, 2022. Here it is Friday. <sighs> and I'll share why I'm kind of doing that in just a minute. Praise the Lord. So there's a couple of scriptures I want to look at today. First one is found in Psalm chapter 34, verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Do we catch that, church? I will bless the Lord at all times. You know, it's not on and off like our uh, windshield wipers. You know, the where we can uh, turn on the intermittent windshield wipers. They go on, they pause for so long, and then they, yeah. No, our praise should be lifted to God. It should never be like that. It should be always. Looks like a Hebrews chapter 13, verse, uh, verse 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. You know, I, I mentioned intermittent uh, windshield wipers. You know, it, it's a great feature, but it's not the pattern of how our praise to God should be. The Bible says, and we just read, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Now, you know... <laughs> This is probably the sixth take of this recording for this devotion today. And that doesn't usually happen. Usually I do it first time, and that's how it goes. You know, the first time I got going and I just got lost for words. And my bride's probably saying, Jim, you never are at a loss of words. Well, I was a loss for words. <laughs> and then the second time I had done the intro and I said Saturday instead of Friday. Then there were a couple more oopses. And then I went and I hit the record button again and the power went out just like that. Praise God. Praise God. You know what? He saw me through that. My notes, everything was gone. But praise the Lord. He saw me through and he's still seeing me through. You know, God clearly calls his people to praise, to praise him. And we might think that we only praise God when we go to church. A lot of people think that. Or we only praise him when we're with a group of other believers. You know, some seem to think that praise only happens at certain times. Others think that we praise God with a particular action, you know, such as calling out to him in praise. Oh, we praise God. Or, you know, some might think that we, it's just when we praise, uh, raise our hands. You know, we might even allow our emotions to, to dictate our praise, such as if we're in the mood or when we feel led. But what did David say? First verse that we read, what did, what did David say? We read where he provides a personal testimony of praise. And that should be the example for each one of us. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You know, that's all the time, friends. All the friends. All, all the time. And it means everywhere. You know, praise is an acknowledgement. And it's a declaration of God's worthiness. And God's worthiness never changes. Praise the Lord. So today, let's praise the Lord at all times. May his praise be continually coming off our lips, not intermittently like windshield wipers. Heavenly Father, we praise you, Lord. 
We make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. We enter into your presence with thanksgiving and praise. Glory. We sing songs of unending praise to you, Lord. You are a great God. You're a great king above all gods. Lord, we praise you in your sanctuary and praise you in your mighty heavens. We, pra we praise you for you are so good. We thank you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. You know, whether it be during our good times or even when we're going through those storms of life, we should be praising the Lord. Now, in the description box, I'm going to leave a video that I had done probably 10 years ago. It's from uh, Sherry Easter. Praise his name. And I think the words of that song, I haven't listened to that for a long time, but the words of that song... I think it shows us how we should be praising him through the good times, through the bad times. Are we doing that? And then I think the most important question, will we do that? Friends, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I also want to thank all those who were involved in, in Godfest. Now, we ended Godfest for a while. I don't know how long. I know Brother Donnie and Brother Tony are working on something. Um, but, you know, a lot of people really didn't want to see that come to an end. It was, I think God worked during uh, during that event. I think there was some lives that were touched. I, I know for us who were delivering the message, there was a, a closer bond among all of us, um, I, I think each one of us could say that. We felt it. You know, and even with some of you who who came, you know, we got to know you. We got to share things with you. You got to share things with us. I, I think it was a great event, and I praise God for that. So keep that in prayer. Keep all the ministers that you her teach keep them in prayer because they have ministries and they need your prayers we all need your prayers as we pray for you friends again thank you so much we love you god bless you